Welcome back, folks, to more chaos on Deponia. What will you do? What else? I'm going in there now. But the place is crawling with unorganized criminals. I can handle them. We got this. Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Yes? Uh, Yoo-hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon, but first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, <laughs> of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. What was that? Huh. I wonder what all these buttons do. Ah, I'll just push the biggest one. And zap! Oh, look at me. I completed an important mission. Yeah, any monkey could have done that. This sucks. What the? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle! Not anymore! I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? You might as well give up, Cletus. I'm not Cletus. I come from the future, you, you, absolute model. You're calling me an absolute model? Yup. Because that's what you are, a stupid, retarded, absolute model. Uh, I think he means obsolete. Huh, I want proof. All right, anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of Zeebelzoobel. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeebelzoobel. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that, so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeebelzoobel? Well, actually, it was... Uh, <clears throat> Hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of the Rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free goal, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm going to dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, 
sure. Him <clears throat> through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. Blah, blah, blah. Kill, what an idiot. What's going on? Rufus, what are you doing? Ah, uh, just chilling. Killing? Bite out his eyes! That might not be necessary this time, boss. It's Rufus. He's one of us. What were you doing in Doc's asbestos camp then? I, uh, needed some asbestos and uh, accidentally got myself locked up. Really? You gotta be careful. I lost two ants that way. But I'm glad you're here. We're trapped here. Some weird extremists are after our ascension codes. Your ascension codes? We were just about to add them to our corporate inventory. That's why we have this crowbar. If they don't leave soon, we'll be forced to shoot our way out. Shoot them all! Tabula Raza! Wait! I've got a plan! Get on with it then. Wink's trigger finger is getting all itchy. Blasted nickel allergy. Last, you've got to get us out of here. I'm working on it. Work faster, then. After all, you're the one who got me into this mess. Huh, so you're Lady Gold. And you are about to become Lady Rufus if you don't hurry up. Oh, snap. What happened exactly? They were just suddenly there. Doc tried to defend me, almost like a real gentleman. A completely futile attempt. There were three of them. They were armed. Are you all right? Of course, we're having a picnic here. Really? With pancakes? That was sarcasm. Ah, yes, I know. No pancakes then, huh? Don't go away. Don't you dare put the... We'll talk to Doc. Doc? Are you all right? Mm. Oh, right, the gag. Uh, there, better now? Yes, all peachy. Okay, then I can leave now, right? Yes. Well, you know, it's not like we couldn't use a little help. I see. This element on Donna's temple, is that also an implant? Yes, I mounted it myself. Why do you ask? I think I have a plan. I recommend that you get a second opinion. You wouldn't happen to have a remote for Donna lying about. Hey! Of course! I do have one, come to think of it. It should be in the drawer, over there. But you would have to get pretty close for it to work. Just leave that to me. Do I have a choice? Nope. Let me try something. I would cross my foot, but being tied up... No problem. Hey, what the... May I? Uh, mm. Super. Two more remote. Great! That should get things moving. Let's see. There's a label on the bottom of one. Hey! It says Donna! That should be useful. And on the other... Ha! Well, hello! This is the remote that future Rufus gave me earlier. The one that belongs to Liebold. Obviously I have a plan. I just don't know what it is yet. Last. Doc mentioned that Donna has an implant too. What are you getting at? Well, if you would let me remove your cartridge for just a moment. Don't you dare! Come on, please, give me that cartridge. Oh, keep your dirty digits away from my implant. Haven't you messed with my mind enough today? <laughs> Can't get me out of your head, huh? Ugh. Wow, Doc keeps a bottle of champagne in his office. What? Where? Sorry, Goal. He'll thank me for this later. 
Gotcha, bitch! Hey, what are you doing? Nice body. Although the eye patch might impede my aim. Don't! No, it's fine actually. Was that necessary? Did you have a better idea? Yes! Too late. Oh well, one less worry at least. Now all we have to do is subdue the rebels. All we need is a new... Don't say it. Plan. Oh. I can feel a flash of inspiration ambling in my general direction. Particles of ingenuity are wafting through the air. Hmm, use vacuum cleaner engine with bubble gum? Perhaps later. Does it always have to be a complicated plan? I thought that's what you like about me. You seem to confuse me with Spunky Gold. Spunky Gold, but of course. I've got Liebold's remote, right? Everything is slowly falling into place. My past self is going to insert Spunky Gold in Liebold. She will then subdue Janosch while I take care of Garlef. And voila, we're out of here. Past self? What are you talking about? Can't we just leave the same way you came in here? No, we can't. Because of the, the temporal coherence and the, and the spatial thing of me and, and and so forth it's complicated isn't it always uh, i'll explain it to you later now we need to find spunky goals cartridge here might as well take this one hey awesome you're not half bad only one third actually just trust me you go free the others i'll take care of the rebels but first i'm gonna grab a gun and i get donna's remote if it makes you happy Oh man, this is going to be so totally epic! Oops! <laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Do you happen to know if that is our future? Our future? Rufus, I hate to tell you this, but we have no future. Oh, is that so? Just watch me. I'll see to it that we have one. Whee! No future. <laughs> That was scary. I hope the punchline is yet to come. I get you the pre-paradox achievement by going back through the portal. <laughs> Finally, I've got a gun too. <laughs> and who's the better man now? Huh? Stupid future Rufus. Oops! <laughs> what? Yeah. Our Rufus, I hate to tell we have no. No future. That was. I hope the.
Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Uh-oh, that must be me from the past. I should open up, otherwise I'll screw up causality. Yes? Uh, Yoo-hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon, but first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. Whew, good thing I have a perfect memory. One little mistake, and I'd have an invalid timeline. But what happens next? Hmm... Huh. One shouldn't live in the past anyway. Let's wreck shit. Well then, let's do it. Cool! Now what? There you are at last! What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus! Hey, that's my jingle! Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date wiser and way cooler than you. Is that so? Huh, I want proof. All right, anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of... Zeeble Zooble. Missed it by a mile, you clown! Zeeble zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble zooble? Well, actually, it was. Uh... <clears throat> hey, <laughs> future me, old pal. There you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take care of the rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Goal, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! <clears throat> Through the portal? Yeah, okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. All right, what a hero. I'm gonna be someone. Yeah, what a moron. Who does he think he is? But now back to the mission at hand. The clock could strike the hour at any moment now, and then I'll be ready. <laughs> All I need now is a little patience, and nobody beats me at that. Patience. Uh-oh, it's about time. The clock may strike the hour at any moment now. Any moment. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum Good thing I'm so patient. Dum -de -dum. <laughs> Good thing. Now, that's enough. Strike, will ya? Oh, come on, strike!
Ouch. If you hit that, the clock is striking the arrow. And right on the spot. Each time your grand entrance door left. Uh, the Roy really has to. Quick question. Usually it's you who wins if what people she shows. But usually it's only about who fetches a fresh bag of chips. Stop trying to make excuses. One for all. And today, the one is you. Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Goal is going to hang on to the Ascension Codes. Turning against the Resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. Yeah, well, sometimes. What the... It's jammed? Ah! Tough luck! Or not. Rufus? Haha, <laughs> very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But, Goal, we haven't got time now for for that kind of thing. I mean, shouldn't we wait until you're, you know, back in shape? Oh well, why not? Yeah. You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? I told you I could! Doc, why are you still trussed up? Lady Gore was supposed to untie you. But she didn't. She escaped to the future through the portal. She did what? Oh, uh, no problem. Spunky Goal is still outside, in Lee Bold's body. She'll make Lady Goal see reason. That wasn't Spunky Goal. That was a cleaning cartridge for my video recorder. The other two goals are still in the machine. Lee Bold doesn't even have an implant. But, but, but the remote! That means I just... Rufus! What have you done to Gorleth and to Liebold? He seems to be quite distressed. Uh, a case of mistaken identity? I... Hey! Goal! What's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Change my plan? Yes. Once again, it's complicated, just like everything that involves you. You cause nothing but chaos. But I'm not made for that. I can no longer stay with you. Oh, come on. What brought this on? Open up! Don't even try. The door is bolted. I need a little head start if I want to find Cletus. Cletus? But what are you talking about? We were going to go to Elysium together. Save the world and all that. It just doesn't work that way, Rufus. You can't let everybody down and still be the hero. That's impossible. Hey, impossible is my middle name. You said it. It appeals to you, doesn't it? You always want what's impossible, and therefore you will never be content. You can't come to Elysium, Rufus, because you carry Deponia within you. Farewell, trash baby. But wait a sec! But Cletus is a snotty jerk! Cletus is not a bad person, Rufus. At least no worse than I am, and certainly no worse than you. I'm a thousand times better than that pretty boy. At least you would like to be. I forgave you for splitting my mind, for lying to me, for repeatedly putting me in harm's way, and I forgave Cletus for trying to erase my memory. Now you need to forgive me. But what about your surgery? We need to put you back together again. What for? So I will be flooded with doubt again? No thanks, Rufus. But we were going to save the world together! 
That may be true for Spunky Goal and Baby Goal, but I am neither as idealistic nor as adventurous as they are. I just want to go home before it's too late. But I want to go to Elysium with you. Do you really want to do that? I know you've got something to prove. Because you grew up in the garbage. Because nobody ever believed in you. But would you really be happy if you achieved your goal? No more adventures? No more plans? I don't think so. But where's the problem? Why can't we save Deponia and still go to Elysium together? Because it is mutually exclusive, Rufus. But it isn't. I know I can do it. This is about... Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? What's that got to do with anything? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, designed to leave Deponia once and for all, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But Utopia is far away. There is only one possibility of generating enough energy to catapult Elysium there. The destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is... what? A... Uh, a starship? Dun, dun, dun. Now do you finally understand? If Deponia is not blown up, then Elysium will soon fall back to the planet. We cannot live forever without a home planet. But Deponia is no place to live. We both know that. What's so great about this utopia? The grass is fresh and green. The sky is blue. The water runs clear. In other words, it is not Deponia. What if the Council of Elders knew that Deponia was inhabited? I don't know. Part of me always believed they would stop the blast then. But that was starry-eyed gold. So, Elysium is a starship? You've got it! Our fathers constructed Elysium so Deponia could be evacuated, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But there was only room for a lucky few. They couldn't take everyone. Why is this all happening now? Elysium wasn't designed to float in the atmosphere forever. It took the Organon decades to build the required blast towers. They are distributed all over the planet. And now, everything's ready. Ulysses people stuck to their schedule. Elysium needs to be launched now, or it's going to fall back onto the planet. Okay, I think I understand now, but... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, onto Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now, it's up to you. There has to be a way to accomplish both! Trust me, I can fix everything! Just like you managed to fix me! All I want is a second chance! You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometimes things are actually broken beyond repair. You can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry. Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... What a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's going to kill us all. I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension Codes. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. Malevolent karma, so close to the drama Scarza's fresh doubts in her horse disarray And she left him behind, though still not in one mind 
planning to reunite with her fierce fiancé But if you think it's time for a first to resign So close to the finish line, you don't know him at all For heroes gather momentum on the brink of the maggot on and fall by the squall They hit the balls to the wall Rufus! Hmm. Ah, there you are. Ready for Shishash? Uh, Yanosh, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side, like way back then. Way back then? Well, early today then, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh, well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the Organon. You think so? Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fisco. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck. Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a fish it. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Eh, huh. well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janosch, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull? At last, what kept you? Ah, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going anyway? My Donna self mentioned Portofisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watchet. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watchet. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough. I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah. What? That's supposed to be the pole? Lonzo puts more ice in the drinks when he wants to save alcohol. What a disappointment. Truly disappointing. And we'll see you again in some more Chaos and Ponya soon to come. Thanks for watching.